Well, they tell me fact is stranger than fiction And legends grow from deeds gone by when they tell their story, He was more than just a unique character, he was a bloody good player as well. You Played 14 tests between 77 down. and 82 before crossing to World Series cricket. And I must say, I love the fact you've come dressed in character as the nasty fasty from the 80s. It looks terrific. Crash, uh, my mind goes back to when you were writing articles in that era. And I wanted to come back as one of the good fellas. You know, or very nasty customer. Was that you? Well, uh, we got the chains uh, and, of course, um, we had hair. We had... Playboy Bunny jumped over the fence. She's latched onto my back and around my neck like a limpet. And I'm coming in with the bowler and uh, <laughs> she's on my back and Greg's yelling abuse at me. I said, I can't do anything. Have a look at this. And I've turned around and there she is. Uh, uh, benches been dropped from up from up top. Uh, there was uh, the big wire fences were pushed down. Uh, there was uh, machine guns going off. Uh, there was the, the army had arrived with tear gas, uh, firing bombs. Uh, the dressing room was uh, pretty uh, pretty heavy. Walters has only just been demobbed after two years national service. Called up after being selected for the Aussies' 1966 tour of South Africa, Doug can't get back to the game quick enough. 22 years old, only two of the tourists are younger, he's regarded by his countrymen as one of their finest all-rounders. So Doug comes in to face the first ball after lunch. Now bear in mind this is a pitch that's turning a lot and there's a big hole right on the length where Lance Gibbs likes to bowl just outside the... He was very quick on his feet. And, when he, and he was very decisive. So when he came forward, he came forward quickly. When he went back, he went back very quickly. So now he's got seven on the onside, two on the offside. Runs in, ball pitches in roughly the same position. Doug Walters, quick, back onto the back foot and also back towards leg stump. Bang! And he cuts the ball straight past point where Gibbsy's just taken this fielder from, you see. And Gibbsy now is exasperated. So he says, right, you. And he calls the guy from midweek and he puts him back at point, you see. Bowls the next ball and it virtually pitches in the same spot again. Doug, quick back, bang. And he hits it over midwicket for four again. And I reckon Gibbsy just sort of threw his hands in the air and, you know, almost sort of saying, you know, how do you bowl to this bloke? So Walter Scott, he got 102 in the session, he went on to make 112 and uh, I saw him bat against Prasanna, uh, he got his, his first two hundreds in test cricket were against Titmus and Allen from England who were pretty decent off spin bowlers. But he didn't just survive against them in conditions where it suited the, the off spinner. He didn't just survive. He, you know, so, uh, there were times when he absolutely uh, clattered them all around the park. Magnificent player. And I mean, I've always just described Doug as a freak. I mean, they broke the mold. All the Dungog out of you. True point, a beautiful shot. That's four out of dollar. You never made a cent yes, Bruce, But clearly. you held the nation's spirit When it nearly up and True went that's four. The changing of the guard Underneath the, the line Where and come and fly the red ball turned to white So take me back to Melbourne In the shadow of Don Bradman to those battles with the windy, let's take them on again. To the SCG in Sydney, you were king and always will be. Doug, you'll always be a legend like you were back then. What a fantastic finish, Wonderful. Seems still opening up, ready. Maybe you should shorten your run up a bit, Tangles. We miss you. From the, game. the only century I've ever scored was on a goal. Try this one, James. No way. We miss that bit of American. We miss that real true blue. No one could Freddy, tell the truth. I've got a jacket here, mate. I'm a legend I'm like you. Hey, go Tangles, go back. to Melbourne. In the shadow of Don Bradman. To the battles with the Windies. Let's take them out. There's something wrong with your glasses. Let his make a run, Dougie's chewing gum, and Gilmore's wielding willow like an axe. Come on, Aussie.
It was before Smith and Warney, before the great dawn, before Victor Trumper scored the first double ton. Nine years before the first test and the baggy green, Australia got its first cricket team. A clever bunch of stockmen and sturdy station hands. We pick the game up quickly from settlers on the land. They sailed over to England, unsure of their fate. The tour made the headlines in 1868. They came from Jadwa to Charlie, from Wajapala Key, some from Gundijmara, 13 men in all. Australian cricket side was Aboriginal. Mr. Hayes. He said, I've got to move. I said, no, oh, that's tragic. The bloke's in his 50s, you know. I said, well, where to? Where are you going to go? Up north. He said, I don't know, I, don't, I, I got an idea. I said, what's that? He said, I'm moving to Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Never heard of Jeopardy. Where'd you hear about this? He said, it was in the Sunday paper last week. There's thousands of jobs in Jeopardy. Roots <laughs> and <laughs> away, Ronnie Kindred and all, by the camp out at night, where the wild dingoes come. And I thought to myself, I wonder why it is that nobody else has ever done it. It's uh, just unique to Slim, you know? And I thought, if Bob Dylan ever did it, I wonder how he'd sound. Probably like this. Here's a love sound with a like kindred and old By the campfire at night where the wild dingoes go There ain't nothing so lonesome, so movie to drear and a stand in the bar when the bar's got no beer, no dope, nothing, baby. <laughs> Alan Jones ever did it, he'd probably sound like this. Well, it's like some away from your kindred and all. This is, this is important stuff. By the campfire at night with a wild dingo's call. As he walks in the door, she says, you're early, Bill, dear. And then he breaks down and tells her that the pub's got no beer, it's a disgrace. <laughs> Rural Australia, farmers out there, working hard. Listen to this, working hard, and the hotel's got no beer. Do something about it. Get Barry O'Farrell on the line, so look after these people out here, it's a disgrace. <laughs> Ozzy has a lazy Sunday RV Stubby in your hand Snag on the barbie Ozzy has nippers on the beach Kids on the veranda Feeding lorikeets It's a blue tongue in the garden it's a footy on the roof It's a cheeky kookaburra Laughing at you It's a hundred different cultures All rolled in the one It's calling Barry Baz Sharon Shaz It's Aussie ass Ozzy has a raffle and a pub And chicken chow men in a bowl 